Hello and welcome to a quick overview of WordPress and a couple of tips that might help your workflow. The first part is, of course, presuming you have logged into your WordPress administration. I'm going to go ahead and back out of this one super quick and just type in a new one. One of the first tips, of course, is that if you forget how to log in or you've taken away the widget that um, gives you a login on the screen, because you can certainly have a widget that does that, the thing to know about all WordPresses is that you just simply need to type in wp-admin at the end of your URL, and that will take you to a login location. Once you are logged in, the next thing to notice is that you are automatically landing in the dashboard. Now, in my mind, there are three to four things that you will always use within WordPress. And so once you get used to knowing where they are, you can become much more efficient at locating them. The first thing, of course, is that you would like to occasionally look at your site as it looks on the web. So if you come up to the upper left over here, where there's a little home icon and you hover, one of the drop downs there will be to visit site. Similarly, if you are in a preview of your site, notice that you'll have some tools across the top, but one of the things that you can do is hover and then return to your dashboard. What I frequently like to do is I like to hover and then I like to right click and then select open link in new tab. That way I have two tabs running. One is my current site one is my dashboard. It's just a personal preference. You don't have to do it that way, but I find it faster to work this way. The other thing once you're here, of course, is that F5 is your friend. F5 will help you refresh your page. So if you have made changes back at the dashboard level um, and you want to make uh, sure that those changes look good, remember to press F5 while you're out here. The next portion that I'd like to talk about are posts, media, and pages. Posts and pages look very similar to each other. If I go ahead and click on Add New here, I can see that it gives me a place for a, a title, and I'm going to name this literally so that you can see post title, and then I can publish this over here. Posts and pages depend an awful lot on what you want your website to do. If your website is more blog oriented and has more timely postings that will come and go depending on calendar dates, then you would want to use that for posts. If you were in the MSCT program, most of your content is going to be driven by pages. There might be times where we combine pages and posts to get a certain look or to take advantage of a theme's particular attributes, but for the most part, your pages will not be something that change on a daily basis or a weekly basis, but rather they are content that is there as part of a learning objective or learning lesson, and so they stay static. So most of the time you will be working off of pages. I will be doing a separate video tutorial on media and media resources, so look for that under the MSCT Ramapo YouTube site. Okay, so now let's talk about pages. I have a couple of different pages here, and I'm going to click into one of them. I'm going to back out of that, change my mind. I want to show you, this is true for both posts and pages. There is a feature, if you hover on top of the page, there is a feature that says Quick Edit. And I'm showing that to you because there's a couple of features here that are different from other places. One is this portion over here where it says Allow Comments. If you still have a comment block at the bottom of one of your pages and you don't want it there, you should uncheck Allow Comments here. And then, of course, once you make any kind of changes here, you should click on Update. Once again, I'm going to go back into a page. And the thing I want to show you here is that WordPress defaults to a very simple toolbar. But if you hover here at the end where it says Toggle Toolbar, you will get another palette 
of information or tools rather here at the end and those are important to have now there are other plugins or other options that you can add to WordPress to extend this toolbar but for our purposes that's as far as we need to go the next thing I would like to talk about is appearance. Appearance is where you're going to probably spend a good portion of your time unless you're writing content and then that will be more in pages. So under appearance you've got multiple uh, pieces here. One of course is themes. Themes are the things that drive the graphic look and options that you have in your site. Each theme designer can program in different types of, of styles as well as different options such as columns or different locations for menus etc and throughout our courses we will be talking about different themes they take a little bit of use uh, time to get used to and learning but once you find a theme or two that you really like you might find yourself going back to that frequently the next portion that I want to talk about is customize all themes have this option for customize now once you were in the customize area you get options to change your um, theme options as well as some real core WordPress options for example every theme is going to allow you to change your site identity this site identity is driving the site tag which is this piece up here and the tagline I'm going to click my back arrow um, most sites will give you an option to, or excuse me, most themes will give you an option to change your colors, your background color and your header text color. That's this color up here. Most themes will give you the option to change your header image, your background image, and many themes under the customizer will give you the option to play with your menus, widgets, and a few other things here. Now this particular theme is spacious and I've got a couple of extra options here that you may not see on all, all other themes. For example, the slider is here um, and you've got this uh, tool called design, etc. So some of these themes will have different options and generally speaking this is the location you can find it under customizing. And once again that can be found under appearance and customize. Now, if you notice here on your left-hand menu bar, you've got widgets, menus, header, background. These look and are, in fact, the same as what you found under Customize. So, Customize can encompass some of these extra tools, or depending on what the author has done, they may not. But generally speaking, within WordPress, you're always going to be able to change your header, your background, um, your theme options, as well as your Customize and let's talk super quick about widgets widgets are things that add additional functionality to your wordpress now widgets are also something that have a standard set of pieces that are built in to wordpress itself however the locations where widgets can land are different depending on the theme author i'm going to jump back to looking at my site really quickly notice over here i've left the default layout and i've got um, a sidebar over here. Now this sidebar are the widgets that are in place currently. So if I go back and I look at my widgets, here's my right sidebar and indeed I've got these particular widgets sitting in my sidebar over here. My search engine, my reach, recent comments, etc. Now in order to get rid of widgets I can simply delete but know that you're not truly deleting a widget you are simply just removing it from your page. I'm going to go ahead and reload that and you'll notice that my uh, search option is now gone because I just removed it. So if I take away say recent posts and then I go refresh my page, recent posts should disappear and indeed it does. So widgets are just pieces of additional functionality. There are tons of different kinds of things out there that you can use and we'll be talking a little bit more about them as we move into our course. Um, once again, this particular theme allows for a variety of different widgets that are coming on uh, to your page. You don't see them all on your page right now because you haven't put anything into them just yet. Let's talk very quickly about menus. There is a separate tutorial on menus and widgets uh, together, so please be sure to check that out. Right now you are sitting in the basic no menu set whatsoever, but notice that when you do go into your website, you are getting a sample of, or excuse me, you're getting a default layout of all of your menus up here. 
Now, um, I encourage you to go and take a look at your the video tutorial on menus because it is quite valuable to figure out how to reorder these and how to put them into different locations. Um, and that's it for the most part. The biggest part that I wanted you to know is that Wonder Pages where you're going to be working predominantly. Um, you can do a quick edit if you need to, but if you click into uh, one of your pages, you can toggle a toolbar on or off, and once you've toggled it on, it will stay on for all of your pages. Once you've toggled it off, likewise, it will stay off for all of your pages. That's it for a quick tutorial and introduction to WordPress, and um, please be sure to check out those other tutorials as well.